Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you again for tuning into yet another video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a quick weave. I just been feeling like I need some sort of change. Um, as you guys know um, from the last few videos that I posted, my hair is shorter now. Um, so I just been wanting to do some changes with my hair. So the easiest way to do that, I decided to do a quick weave today. And I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step um, how to achieve this look. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So the first thing you guys will see me doing is sectioning off my leave out. Um, so I do find it a little bit easier. I did start off with a clamp, um, but I do find it easier to go ahead and braid down your leave out and secure it with a rubber band or scrunchie of some sort. So that is very apparent where your parts are so that you are able to see where to lay the tracks um, once you do, you know, start applying them to the wig cap. <laughs> going to do is use the salon pro and this is the weave molding gel um, and this is actually the first time that i've used this on my hair and i have to say that i really love it typically i used to do this when my hair was wet um, but i can definitely feel the difference in my hair doing it on dry hair and my hair is about three days old now um, so definitely recommend doing a quick weave on dry hair and instead of using like foam lotion or anything that makes your hair like a little bit more wet it speeds up the drying process when your hair is already dry and then using just a good gel on top. So this is my first time using Salon Pro Weave Molding Gel and I love the way that it turned out. Um, so here I'm just sectioning off my hair and adding in the gel to mold down the spaces that will be hidden underneath the cap so that I can put on the wig cap and then also apply the next product. <laughs> all right guys so next i'm going to be using the robert diamonds bond protective shield and i'll be using this and putting this all over my hair and the easiest way to do this, because the bond can get a little sticky to use with your fingers, I poured it in a paper bowl and then used um, one of the brushes that you can find in the beauty supply store. You typically use this for color, but you can pretty much apply it, um, use it to apply the protective shield as well. So I'm going to be applying this product both on top of my hair prior to putting on the wig cap and then on top of the wig cap so that I can sit under the dryer. So this kind of just gives me a reinforcer to make sure that none of the none of the glue gets on my hair. <laughs> So now that the protective shield is dry, you will start to see like some white residue, maybe like around your ears or like the nape of your neck. So easy method to get rid of that is just to take a wet washcloth or a rag and just wipe off the excess protective shield that may have gotten on your skin. 
So now that I've set under the dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes, it really just depends on how thick your natural hair is. Um, so because my hair wasn't already wet, the drying process definitely sped up a little bit. I can definitely say when my hair is wet and doing a quick weave, I have to sit under there for an hour plus. Um, so this cut back on the drying time a little bit for me and I just like to sit under there a little bit longer just to make sure that my hair is secure. Um, so now I'm just going to be cutting the tracks and aligning them around um, the circumference of my head and where I want to start and stop them. Um, and then I'll keep going from the back to the front um, up until the point where it reaches my natural hair. <laughs> So now that I've gotten a little bit towards the top of my hair, I'm going to start cutting the wig cap to expose my natural hair so that I can style it. <laughs> I'm going to be applying some of the silk elements and this is a heat protectant spray before I flat iron my natural hair. guys that my camera died while I was cutting my hair I'm so sorry um, but honestly there really wasn't any method to how I did this blunt cut look um, I pretty much just kind of eyeballed it um, you can't use scrunchies or rubber bands 
if you want to get a little bit more of an accurate cut. But I feel like I did pretty good with eyeballing it. So this is this finished look and it came out super cute. So excited um, that I can achieve a quick weave look and kind of change my hair up a little bit more often than I should. Um, but I am so happy with the finished product and I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys decide on using my video to achieve your next quick weave look. And thank you so much for watching again and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.